Hi, I'm Justin D. Ryan. You tuned in for a brand new episode of Hi-Fi's Brain Dump. All right, so starting off today, we have for our first news topic, some political news. This involving the potential impeachment of President Trump. Uh, reportedly on NBC News, there is at very least 47 different um, Republicans that are trying to proceed in uh, the process of actually starting an impeachment of President Trump. Um, all enough of all those people, I th- like I said 47, but actually it's 47 total, 46 of them are Republican. Oddly enough, only one um, Republican. Honestly, I don't know how even Republicans can put up with his crap. Uh, uh, Democrats, I think, are kind of obvious why they don't want him as president anymore. You know, all I have to say is good. I, I don't think he should be president, nor have I ever thought he should have been president. It's just like he's not fit to be president whatsoever. You know, you don't believe me, just pay attention to anything about Trump in the news, about what he's been doing as president. I, I can't understand. Someone, please, if you're watching this, go ahead and comment to me, like, hey, trying to explain to me why he should be left as president. Sure, I understand that some people, like, he had their views about why Hillary wasn't going to be fit, but why Trump was an acceptable replacement. I'm never going to understand that. Only thing I'd like to add, though, is I just hope we have planned for how we're going to handle then if he's impeached proceeding on. Because I've always said, like, it seems like Trump has just surrounded himself with people that would be nearly just as bad as him if he were ever, like, taken out of the presidency. Because I don't really know about Mike Pence either. Perhaps at the East... A little bit, it's uh, more competent than he is, so I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see when that comes about, if it comes about. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, move on now to our tech news today. Now, this, I feel like, is more in line with film and media news, but the reason why I'm lumping it into the tech news is just because I came across this news story while trying to look for some tech news topics while looking on The Verge website, which is obviously a tech news website. The story is, reportedly, Disney, Disney CEO Bob Iger is saying that they could potentially stop doing any filming in Georgia if they do go ahead and enforce the er, ban on abortion, which would be a huge blow to their economy because they get a enormous amount of their tax revenue comes from different studios filming in Georgia. Predominantly, one of the biggest studios right now is Disney because of like all the different and Marvel films for one that they shoot there. Then there's tons of other er, movies and TV shows as well, but they're one of the biggest ones, and that would just be a huge impact on their economy if they were to stop doing this. And you know what? And I think it's at least a good bluff to try and get them to like, back off on this, because honestly, I've never thought anyone has a right to tell a woman what they can and can't do with their body. There are several good reasons, you know, for people to want to have an abortion. Not just like, you know, a lot of people are just saying like, oh, well, they're just stupid people, like, you know, couldn't practice safe, uh, safe sex, you know. A lot of times, though, it could just be, you know, young kids that didn't know better, didn't know how oh, to properly protect themselves during sex, and I don't think they deserve to ruin their lives at such a young age by having to deal with, you know, the struggles of raising a child because, like, you know, they weren't properly prepared for how oh, to have safe sex practices. And there's also other cases where it's not even in the woman's hands on her getting pregnant. There are cases where women are raped and forced against their will into a pregnancy they never wanted. And I think that is more than acceptable for them who want to abort that child. 
because you know th that's something that was not uh, not in their hands. They didn't want that child. They didn't want to be raped. So it's not fair to them to tell them like, "Well, I'm sorry. We're gonna tell oh you how oh you're allowed to control your body." And despite the unfortunate circumstances, you're gonna have to ra uh, raise that rapist's child. And that is just despicable to me. And so I'm hoping that the fear of <laughs> what they're going to lose in their tax revenue is going to get Georgia to just back off this issue and leave it as is. So, all right. And now into our actual news and media topic I'm going to go over. So we have just really rumors of potential like eight character crossovers that could come in to future Spider-Man films. Right now we're hearing, you know, rumors that we could get it, um, Deadpool and also Venom potentially crossing over into the Spider-Man universe and then, you know, introducing them into the new Marvel universe that way. Um, first I'll just, I guess, go off by saying which one of these I think really has the most potential of actually being true. And I would definitely say Venom because I've always thought it was, it was kind of ridiculous that they didn't, I know they're kind of playing it safe in case the movie wasn't successful, but I always thought it was ridiculous. They didn't want to tie in with Spider-Man at all because Venom would not exist without Spider-Man. He wasn't introduced, you know, as just Venom in the comic books. The Venom symbiote was originally introduced through Spider-Man and then proceeded to the and bond with Eddie Brock after he was rejected by Spider-Man. So the fact that they didn't want to have it connected to the Spider-Man universe at all kind of made me mad. Now, that being said, I still thought the movie is actually pretty good. It wasn't great, but, you know, it was a decent success. So I'm hoping now, because it was a decent, and decent success, that they're going to take that gamble and now find a way to work it into the Spider-Man universe in some way. Uh, some people are even saying it could be as early as this Far From Home movie. I kind of doubt this late in the game when the movie's just about to come out that we're only just now hearing about that. It'd be interesting if they've kept that. This is a huge surprise for us for Spider-Man that he's going to be he kind of worked into the Spider-Man universe. I somehow doubt it. If anything, I would say it's probably going to be as late as the third film coming out. And why not Deadpool? Well, I'd have to say it's mostly because I agree with some of the other -er news outlets that's been discussing this topic, um, what their thoughts are. And that is, why introduce a character that is from Fox and then have him cross over into a Sony -E distributed film when it's doing just fine being distributed by Fox slash now Disney? That's one thing. And also the fact that I don't feel like you could fit him just as, like, he tried to just say, like, do it like a buddy cop movie with him and Spider-Man in, like, the third film. I don't see it really working out. They're just two different in film styles right now, I feel like, that you can't really squeeze in Deadpool into the Spider-Man universe right now. Now, I could see potentially if they're going to try, because we don't even know if they're doing this, try to meld together the uh, Fox Marvel Universe with the, you know, Disney Marvel and have them finally kind of all come together in some way, you could potentially have Deadpool find a way to work together with Spider-Man later down the road in, you know, another Avengers type film or some big crossover event that I could see working. But as for him just kind of crossing over into just a Spider-Man film, not so much. I don't see that happening just yet. Uh, probably not even at all. Some people were even saying that actually it might be even a bigger, uh, better fit. And it's kind of happened, but not in a big way. Would be having Deadpool become like, a, you know, more of a prominent member of an X-Men film. Which I don't really necessarily see that happening. I think 
more than likely, it's still going to stay with what they've been saying they've been wanting to do, and that's doing the X-Force, which is kind of just like, a, you know, a subset of X-Men to just take on, you know, bigger tasks, you know, that tend to, uh, you know, need to be off the books and stuff like that, and doesn't want to be associated with the X-Men. So, basically, they're like their Black Ops forces. And that makes more sense to me than anything, that they're just going to keep him maybe part of an X-Force film rather than Spider-Man or even, even doing eventually a Marvel's film. That's the biggest potential I see right now. Enough of me rambling on about all this tech media and political news or whatever. That's going to be wrapping up for me today. Of course, I'd like to uh, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out some of the other content on this channel. So this is on Tuesday. We always do a Hi-Fi Pop episode. Uh, Wednesday is our Cancelled Misfits. And if you didn't get the chance to see it yet, I did put out a uh, little cosplay video from uh, my time at uh, the Phoenix Fan Fusion. That's a fun video. Hopefully you guys would check that out. Oh, let me know what you guys all think. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for me today. Thanks again for tuning in. Goodbye.